single lunge, kettlebell swings, kettlebell snatch. For the kettlebell snatch, you need to master the kettlebell swing press um, that is performed with the single arm. So when you're going for single arm kettlebell exercises, remember hold on to the opposite hand corner. If you're using your right arm, hold on to the left hand corner. Okay, so for the single arm kettlebell swings, you're gonna be rotating your shoulder internally as you come as you come back. Alright, so your thumb's gonna be pointing back as you swing back, and then for the four swing, you're gonna have your thumb pointed up at about 45 degrees. Okay, and try to pull that shoulder back to counterbalance the weight. Bend at the elbow slightly, and the weight should be weightless at the top of the hip extension. Okay, so that's let's go through some reps. You're going to have your thumb pointed back for the back swing, and then as you thrust your hips, you're going to have your thumb pointed up at about 45 degrees. Armpit is closed, your elbows are slightly bent. Okay, and then again, the weight has to be weightless at the top end range of the motion. Alright, so notice that he is keeping his hand neutral throughout the movement, and his opposite arm swings back as he hinges at the hips, and then he's going to swing that arm forwards. As he finishes off the hip extension. Again, show us a few more reps. Okay, again, to counterbalance your weight, use your opposite arm as well and make sure to pull that shoulder back and have your shoulder square, hip square at the top of the end range of the motion. Alright, this is your single arm kettlebell swing. On to the kettlebell snatch. For the kettlebell snatch, it's very important to remember what we're doing at the top of the swing, so you need to pull that shoulder back, up and close, elbow slightly bent, and the weight has to be weightless. So when that weight comes up to here, what you're going to do is finish off the pull by punching the weight up, and you want to punch the weight up vertically, up toward the ceiling, all right, and finish with the arm vertical to the ground. All right, so show us what it looks like. Start with a few swings, so go swing, swing, and snatch. Swing, swing, and snatch. Okay, so in the top position, notice that his wrist is nice and straight. Okay, and the transition is very fast. Where the kettlebell goes from the frontal position, okay, so from anterior position to posterior of the arm. So it swings around your hands very quickly. It has to wrap around very quickly. If you wait for it to swing, uh, if you make the process nice and slow by holding too tight onto the handle, the kettlebell can land nice and tight on your forearm and it'll leave bruises on your forearms for days. So try to make a loose grip as you make the transition and try to punch through quickly to avoid uh, having the kettlebell land on your forearms nice and hard. 